Hi again, everybody. Got a stormy night here on the central Gulf, Gulf Coast, so uh, you might hear some blustering out outside. Um, basically, most of the storm has passed, so I came out here and finished up. I got some good advice from Fred about where exactly to locate the hole for my sight water sight gauge here. This is a Coles Power Models water sight gauge that um, I got through a buddy of mine. Uh, thanks guy. I appreciate it. There it is. If you get to see this video. The boiler, this is Marty Knox built the boiler and it's a keyhole boiler which means that the um, the firebox bows out a little bit here which that's why the the um, I needed to make sure to put the hole for the water sight gauge over there a little bit further to the left than it may otherwise have been. So what I did was I felt up here, the crown sheet is about here where my thumb is, basically about the top of where this weld bead is. I measured up a quarter of an inch because it's a quarter of an inch thick and then I am also measured up an additional half an inch so that the bottom of the water sight gauge will be a half an inch above the top of the crown sheet and it is, it's, it's probably more than that the, I've got my index finger here over showing that the, the extent of the keyhole boiler it goes out this far so I carefully marked it out before I've, I've marked uh, the um, drilling and tapping operation has messed up my marks but I used a piece of chalk and I marked out where the keyhole area was so that I could be careful to avoid drilling into the keyhole or into the firebox obviously with the, um, the hole for the sight gauge. So here it is, one full turn, two full turns, let's get a little loose, three and a half, four, and a half, five, and it comes off. So there's the, it's an eighth inch pipe thread on the bottom. Looks like quarter 32 up top. I'm going to have to make some fittings for it, but there you can see the hole that I drilled and tapped, and you can see where I've placed it. <laughs> Basically just clears the crown sheet and the, uh, the bowed out area. And um, I did make a little jig so that I could make sure to drill and tap squarely here's my little jig I had it clamped in place over here and you can see I relieved the back of it a little bit so it would clear the um, the fire fire door welding so that's it for tonight I appreciate y'all watching and hope uh, everybody had a safe evening and probably the next set of things I'll work on is uh, come back to a little lathe work and make some I need to make the brass appliances for the uh, the front header box and the uh, on the front of the boiler the front flue sheet and I can work on some of the piping just at least some of the fittings I'm trying to get as much of the boiler work done now as I can um, the the major things beyond the fittings will be of course the actual fitting of the throttle and the linkage and then welding some bands across the top that will hold the uh, boiler jacket in place. So there's tonight's update. I appreciate you watching.